everyone. It's been a while since we've been on this swing here. I feel like it brings back early game vibes. But anyway, welcome back to another episode of Imperial SMP. And today I've actually called a meeting amongst a couple of my neighbours because I have a suggestion. So we need to head over to the castle before they arrive to greet them. Come in, I have a meeting table. So oh, let's right, sit down right. at the table and have a meeting. Okay. Um, I'm not here. I feel like you should be head of table or something. Oh, uh, okay. That actually, you, yeah, you. yeah. So hello neighbors. I had a proposal to suggest today. Our bases aren't very well connected in this server on, in general. So we could start by maybe making some paths or something between our bases for easy travel. Sounds like a great idea. Yeah, I, yeah. Have, I struggle getting here. Mm -hmm. Me too. We use nether travel a lot, but then it means that I don't know my way around the overworld at all. So if I want to like just go on a nice walk, I don't know where I'm going. And if we path it out, it makes it easier to understand the layout too. So it's perfect. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Further to that, I think there are easier ways and faster ways of traveling than on foot. Pathways are pretty suited to horses. <gasps> I love horses. I love horses. I say yes. Everyone sounds very enthusiastic about horses here. So we could even make it a thing. Like we could be the horse girls of the server. <gasps> I yes. love it. Yes. An alliance, <laughs> almost. <laughs> exactly. Oh, maybe we need like t-shirts or something. This could be like a whole thing. <gasps> and nice boots. Oh yeah. Horse riding boots. We need that to commit to this. I love this. Okay, wonderful. And then maybe once we've got set up and like we've got our paths and our horses going, other people might start getting envious and we can maybe recruit some other people. Yes, let's do it. Wonderful. Let's girls with all the girls and the boys. Do we start pathing out first? Because we're going to ha have to find the horses, right? Horses, yeah, you know and it's mean? actually quite a struggle finding horses on this server. I feel like people go around killing them, so... That might be a bit of a mission that we need to do. Especially because you said okay. they're hard to find. I think if we kind of work yeah. together to find the perfect ones for each other, it would mm. definitely help. Okay. And so formed the beginning of the Horse Girl Club. Next, we needed three horses for our three members. So we went on an adventure to find some. Okay. Where should we go? Right. Do you know anybody who's like near planes or anything? Um, if we go through the shops, low res is in a planes biome next to the shops. All right, let's go check that out maybe. I feel like that would be our best bet. Okay, I don't think there's horses in this direction. No, it doesn't look like it. It looks like a very small plains. I had the hardest time finding cows in the beginning. Oh no, no! Oh, oh no! <laughs> what is happening here? <laughs> She's like abusing she... cows. <laughs> no, no, no. It seemed like you were trying to take the cow home instead of a horse. I'm just completely ruining the vibe of the horse girl club. I just don't understand. <laughs> Okay, so um, the planes go in the other direction, but there's still no horses, so I think we should just like move on. Goodbye, cow. One eternity later. Oh, there's a squid dying to our left. The squids Hold and the I rabbits are like the dumbest mobs. Oh, <laughs> no, seriously. I'm like, you're so helpless. <laughs> so dumb. Oh, there's a. <gasps> 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 a horse! A horse! Yep. Is it... Oh, no. Be one Not with yet. the horse. Bond with the horse. Love me! What's his name? Um. Gerald. Gerald. <laughs> That's very fitting. Thought it was gonna happen. <gasps> Yay! Yay! Gerald loves me. Perfect. Our first horse of the horse girl club. Yay! And so our club had found our first horse and there were a few more in the plains biome where that came from. So we have a new friend here at the castle. I've just put her down here. Hello? Where are you? <gasps> There you are. So this is Blossom, my new horse. Blossom here doesn't have a whole lot of hearts, but she is pretty fast and I'm not sure what she's like at jumping. But I don't think that this is her ideal home and the other horse girls will need somewhere to put their horses when they come over. So I think we should go build Blossom a stables. I have a spot picked out to build and it's just beyond this windmill here. We'll need a crafting table, a stone cutter, our shulker box and a bed. I think my biggest struggle making a stables is going to be that I always picture stables as being very wooden. But all of our builds have a lot of this white concrete and the roofs are either pink or brick. So it's going to be interesting trying to make it look consistent. We'll see how we go with that. Uh, that's an even number. There we go. And then if we go back to say here, this part here will be a little entrance and then we'll have stables going along here. So maybe like this wide and then again. And again.
Now before we call this complete, the one thing that I'd like to do is dig out some land over here. And let's see if we can make a nice heart-shaped pond in front of the stables. Oh, I really don't know how to do this. We might actually need to use our brain here. I want our heart-shaped pond for Blossom to look out on to symbolize our love for horses. I think this is a heart shape. I don't know if you'll be able to tell. Maybe it'll be more obvious with water in it. Hmm. I think we'll just fill it with water and see how we go. And now does it look like a heart? Uh, not really. Maybe from the right angle. Oh wait, that's kind of good. Next we can put some rocks in it. And some of these azaleas. We have three lily pads, so they can all go in here too. And lastly, some flowers, of course. So here's the completed stables area. We have the heart pond down here. And through here, there's like a human walkway area. And then in this section here, this is all gates, but you can also come around the front. There's three separate horse pens, so Blossom can have one and any visitors can have one. We also have this gold armor for Blossom because she is a weak horse. She does not have many hearts. But let's go get her and show her her new home. Oh wow, this is actually so much better than going around my base on foot. Okay, welcome Blossom. Can we jump over the gate? No, we can't. Okay. And we have a name tag for you and some horse armor. Oh, what a majestic creature. Look at this perfection. Next, a little bit of time has passed and I actually have reason to suspect suspicious activity. That is a tongue twister. Suspect suspicious activity. Anyway, I think my base may have been tampered with or something. I don't really know. But I think we're just going to take a little bit of a walk around and make sure everything should be be as it is. Let's go in the woodmill first. How are you doing Rosa? You seem fine, you're offering good deals as always. And Flora's upstairs so everything seems fine in there. And then we have our cows and sheep, they are acting like everything's normal. So nothing over there, I hear a creeper under me but that's nothing new. How is our tiny block trading going? Ooh, deep slate and hay, oh I want the hay. Wait wait wait, this needs to go over here. Yes! Hmm, everything over here seems fine. Starter house. Hmm, no suspicious activity so far. The pumpkin patch looks normal. And, oh, more hay. <laughs> this is from Madison. Thank you. Let's go up the top here. And the dogs seem fine. And I think I just took you all on a completely pointless tour. There is the tally tubby head. Hey, there's a sign. Nice face. Well, I hope you enjoyed the pointless tour. I have been tipped off, so I know that there's something up, but I guess we'll just find it another day. Moving on, our last task of the day is our horse club related duty. We need to make some horse friendly paths connecting bases. We're gonna start by going in the direction of Madison Elizabeth because I heard she's already made a start so we can see what she's done. Oh, well, it looks like she's pathed out all this. This is awesome, so we'll just have to decorate it. And it should go over the river. We'll have to make a bridge there and then I believe we're nearly at her house. Oh look, she started texturing it along here. And it comes all the way through here and then we're at her base. Wait, is that it? Is there a polar bear in with the sheep? Okay, so I think we can start by adding some coarse dirt and gravel to our end of the path. Oh, we'll get rid of this along the way. So we can put some slabs along here. And then if we just go along here, we can add coarse dirt and gravel. Now that it's textured, our next phase of decoration involves going to the end. Yes, you heard right, we are gonna go to the end really quickly to get some chorus fruit because I would like to craft some end rods. I think that end rods could make really good little mushroom stems to light the pathways, so we'll give that a go. Although, luckily on this server, it's not too much of a mission to go to the end because it's all connected through portals. Hey, cake. Why is there cake everywhere? And then the dragon is not alive, so I'm guessing, oh, there's a portal over there. Boop. I don't know where we are. We're in an end city. I didn't know that could happen. Hey, there's end rods. And chorus fruit is just over here. Excellent. This is very easy. Is that, wait, is that a different end city? Wow. Oh wow, I just learned that these are meant to be chopped with an axe. This is easier. And we have a few stacks, so we can go now. Not only do we need chorus fruit to make more end rods, but we also need blaze rods. Fortunately, we can go buy some at the shops. Here we go. Silly blocks near the shop, I think this is. 
So she is selling a diamond for 16 blaze rods. Perfect. Now we have everything we need to make tiny mushroom lights. Like this. So let's do that at the actual path. These look so flipping cute as you're walking along here. We do need a little bit more lighting though, so I was thinking maybe glow berries. We can have one over here. Ooh, one on this big boy would be good. And one on this tree. Perfect. Now we can add a few azaleas. A spore blossom on the big tree. Some little shrubs made out of leaves. Flowers everywhere. And lastly, let's make a signpost. So we can have an arrow that says Madison, and this is also how you get to Silly Block's house. Oh, I don't know what to do about this. How do you make a good signpost? Oh, not like this. I think I'm gonna have to turn it into a lamppost just to make it look okay. This will have to do for now. I clearly do not know how to make a good signpost. But I would say this completes our section of this path for the moment. I think it's looking pretty. I've left a section over here for Madison to work on. And next time I think we'll do a different design to connect up with Infinite Drift. But I think this will be it for today so let's go put Blossom away. As always I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you think we should recruit anyone in particular to the horse school club let me know who. As always please leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed this and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye!